Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you solo safe a virtual instrument track and as you're moving through your mix or your production that you solo something else and all of a sudden you lose playback of that virtual instrument that you solo saved? Let's talk about why this is. Well, first of all, I think it's important to note that this has been said before. There's lots of content covering this, but in Studio One, tracks and channels are not a one-to-one -one thing that is linked by default. There are things that we can do to make them behave as if though they're linked, but they're actually not linked, except if we're talking about audio tracks. In that case, I think it's pretty straightforward. The track and the channel are always like a one-to-one. -one. But when we talk about virtual instruments, we can have a situation where, for example, you're sequencing on one track, but then it's feeding 10 outputs into your console. So if you haven't ever encountered this or thought to yourself, why is that happening? Then this video probably isn't for you. But if you have, then I'm gonna talk about a really simple thing that we can do to kind of, I wouldn't say fix it, I would just say force things to work the way that you would expect if you're solo safing something for the purpose of it always playing regardless of what other tracks or channels you have soloed. All right, and the example that I'm gonna use for this over here is this is a session. It's an older version of a session that is actually something that just released last week. And if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put a link to the uh, in the description for a link for this track. But if we take a look at, for example, all of the instruments here, notice that most of the virtual instruments, if not all of them, they're all sitting as virtual instruments. Now, what I've been doing since I got this newer computer, because it's got a lot of power, is I've been doing my vocal tracking sessions in the actual production session because I don't have to manage multiple different sessions, like a vocal tracking session with, with a two-track instrumental or something. I can just do everything here. For the most part, it works perfectly fine, even if I have lots of virtual instruments running. But if we take a look at, for example, soloing this one harmonic element, let's take a listen to this. So this is the chord progression, right? Now, let's say that I wanted this chord progression to remain soloed regardless of the other tracks that I had soloed. So if I solo the vocals, I always wanna hear the harmonic elements in the background. Now this is 95% of the time that I'm comping vocals. This is what I wanna do, especially when I'm analyzing things for tuning and inflections and timing. I always want to make sure that I'm listening to things against the harmonic element or perhaps the bass and maybe something, right? It could be chords, it could be pads, it could be a synth, it could be a guitar, anything. But I like to solo safe tracks while I'm comping vocals because this gives me my relative timing. Sometimes that could be a four on the floor kick and just a few instruments or sometimes maybe less or sometimes more. Now, if we talk about that same type of thing, let's talk about how we would do that. So I would say to myself, okay, I'm comping these vocals. So I'm gonna go to this track over here, Plucky Synth, and I'm gonna solo safe this. So now, if I solo this, everything's good. Okay. Let's go up to, for example, our vocals. Okay. Why did that happen? Why did the Plucky Synth not continue to play in the background? So you unsolo this. And this is the moment where you start to scratch your head. Well, it's a very simple solution. If ever you want to have an element that remains soloed and it's a virtual instrument, I'm going to double click the track over here in the track header, and this will automatically open up my console with the track in focus, or rather the channel in focus. I'm gonna solo safe the channel and the track. So now watch what happens. I'm gonna solo the vocal. We could comp. Okay, maybe I wanna solo something completely different. Maybe I wanna solo this one over here. Maybe I wanna do this by holding the alt or option key. So now that just is basically unsoloing the vocals and it's soloing a new track. Maybe I wanna solo another element. Is there anything here? So I'm soloing now the cellos, and then maybe I want to add the vocals back in. So this is the key to making the whole thing work. If you need to solo safe a virtual instrument and you want to be able to hop around either mixing or production, or for me, it's something I use all the time when I'm actually comping. It's very simple. Just solo safe the actual track and its associated channel. And then when you're done, Quite simply, you can just remove the solo safe status and then things will play back as expected. 
So anyways, that's it. Really small tip, but I have a feeling that if you've ever come across this before and wondered why, if we take the tracks versus channels things out of the equation, this is how you fix it. This is how you have the ability to have a track that will remain soloed regardless of whether you're soloing from the console or the actual arrange window. And it'll just kind of behave the way you would expect if you want something to be solo safe and always be sold. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will do my absolute best to get back to you. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.